Transition United Broadcasting Network. And today we'll be reading the Adventure Bay newsletter. Ahoy, Mitty. Can you remember the Bible verse? Can you? If so, leave it in the comment section down below under the video. And if you don't remember, I'm going to read it to you guys. We shall not all asleep, but we shall a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. 1 Corinthians 51, 15, 51, and 52. How about deletion? This is the first question I'll be telling you guys. And if you go to East Coast Christian, um, and if you go in the big, big the kids' church, and if you listen to the lesson, you would already know. If if so, if you know, put it in the comments down below. This is the first list, the first question I'll be telling you guys. Will we know when Jesus is coming back? Put it in the, put your answers in the comment section below. What will Jesus? Well, the second question, if you know it, put it in the comments down below. What will Jesus' return look like? If you know, put it in the comments down below under the video. This is the last question I'll be telling you guys. What should we do to be ready for Jesus' return? If so, if you know, put it in the comments down below. Now, today we'll be reading from Bible Stories for Kids. You're going to be reading the story of Daniel. The king finally gets it. Here's a wonderful thing to know. No matter what happens, God is in control. We have a hard time believing that. We will think, we will like to think that we are in control of everything. King Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar did. Of course he did. Remember, he was the mightiest king on earth. But he had another dream. King Neb Nebuchadnezzar dreamed frightening him. Frightened. Frightened him. And so he called in all magicians, Artolo astrologers, fortune tellers, and wise men to tell him what it meant. Last night, I had the strangest dream. King Nebuchadnezzar said, In my dream, I saw a huge tree. It grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Until all the people everywhere could see it. Its leaves were beautiful, and its branches were full of fruit. Enough for all the, for enough for the whole world to eat. Animals rested in the shade, in its shade, and birds made their nest in its branches. But then I saw an angel who, who watches all over over all things here on earth. The angel proclaimed in a loud voice, Let the tree be cut down and its fruit be scattered. Drive away all the animals that take shelter under its branches. But leave the stump in the ground with a band of iron and bronze wrapped around it. And then I saw a man, the angel, who watches over all things, proclaimed, let this man live like an animal for seven years, so that all the people everywhere will know that the one, all, Almighty God has power over all the things on earth. This was my dream, said King Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> To all his magicians, astrologers, fortune tellers, and wise men. Now, tell me, astrologers, fortune tellers, and wise men. Now, tell me what it means. Oh, oh, the magicians, astro, astrologers, astrologers, fortune tellers, and wise men were in astrologers. Astrologers, fortune tellers, and wise. It's astrologers. Astrologers, fortune tellers, and wise men 
we're in trouble again. They didn't know what the ki- they didn't know what the king's dream meant. And so King Nebuchadnezzar sent Daniel before Daniel because he knew that God was with him. The king told J- Daniel his dream. And then Daniel was so afraid he couldn't speak. Don't be afraid to tell me what my dreams mean what my dream means, said King Nebuchadnezzar. Your Majesty, I wish I could tell you something different. But this is the message that God has given you in your dream. <clears throat> You are the tree. You saw your dream. The kingdom is great with in your power. Reaches all over the world. But then you saw the tree was cut down. And you saw a man lived who lived like an animal. This was this is what God says will happen. <clears throat> you are the greatest king in the whole world, but you are nothing compared with God, to the God of heaven. So that you and so that you will know that you have no power at all except what God has given you. Your kingdom will be taken away from you. For seven years, you will live with the animals in the forest. You will eat grass like a cow. You will sleep on the ground. And when you wake up each morning, you will be wet with dew. Then you will admit the Almighty God is king all over the earth. He is one who gives power in whoever he chooses. But your majesty, continued Daniel, when you do admit the God's rules, all over all things on earth then your mind will be restored restored to you and you shall be king again and then daniel gave the king his great but simple advice stop singing do what is right sinning. stop sinning do what is right take care of the poor and god he will bless he will bless you in wonderful ways. A year went by. And nothing happened. But one day, King Nebuchadnezzar was walking alone on a balcony. Alone, a balcony. Of his royal, royal palace in the golden light of early more of an early evening. Of the early evening. He looked out over the great city of Babylon. And all that he possessed. What a great. What a great and mighty king I am. He said. Before the words were even out of his mouth. A voice from heaven said. King Nebuchadnezzar. Now is your power taken away from you. And in that moment. The great and mighty king Nebuchadnezzar. Became like an animal. He ran from the comfort of his palace and lived in fields and forests. Seven years went by. King Nebuchadnezzar's hair grew as long as eagle feathers and his fingernails like bird claws. He ate grass like a cow. The rain fell on his head. And then one day, King Nebuchadnezzar looked up to the sky. He admitted that God was king over all things and immediately he had and immediately he came to his right mind again he praised God and said now I know that God is king over all things and heaven on earth he will rule forever and his king and his kingdom will never end no one no one can stand in his way. He is in control of all things in heaven on earth. King Nebuchadnezzar returned to his royal palace. 
and God gave his kingdom back to him, even greater than before. Finally, King Nebuchadnezzar said, Now I, King Nebuchadnezzar, praise the Almighty God of heaven. <clears throat> he can do whatever he pleases. And all, all that he does is good and right. So thank you guys for watching this week's Bible study on the the story of Daniel. The king finally gets it. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to Christian United Broadcasting Network. And with these questions, let me know in the comments down below if you guys know it. So thank you guys so much. Huh? Okay, we are going to review the questions. Adventure Bay Newsletter. Ahoy, Mitty. Can you remember the Bible verse? If you can, leave it in the comments down below. If you don't, I'll read it to you guys. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trumpet. 1 Corinthians 50, 15, 51, and 52. How about the lesson? Do you guys remember the lesson? Okay. The first question I'll be reading to you guys. If you guys remember, um, let me know in the comments down below and I'll read it in next week's video. Will we know when Jesus is coming back? If you know the answer, leave it in the comments down below so you guys so I can read it to you guys next week. The second question I'll be reading to you guys. And if you know the answer, leave it in the comments down below. What will Jesus' return look like? This is the last question I'll be reading to you guys. If you guys know the answer, just leave it in the comments down below. It is. What should we do to be ready for Jesus' return? So that's all the questions. And, and whoever has answers, I'll be reading it next week. And now... If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to Christian United Broadcasting Network, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we post videos, and so comment down below if you know all the answers to this newsletter, and yeah, and then whenever we post videos, ev me and Alana post videos every Sunday for Bible Stories for Kids, so you guys... Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we post videos. And subscribe to see me on live so you can see all the other videos that we post. And follow all of our follow and go to the CUBN Christian United Broadcasting Live dot com so you can see what we have on that website. So thank you guys so much for watching. Well, hold on. Okay. So, it's cbnlive.com, so you can see whatever we post on there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video. Subscribe to see Christian United Broadcasting Live. So, you can be... And hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we post videos. And until next Sunday. Bye. Bye.